Here's a quick recap of the carbonate bicarbonate buffer system. The bicarbonate buffer system is in our blood and regulates the pH of our blood, keeping it around 7.4, 7.5. That's important for enzyme function. It also works with and functions because of the respiratory system where we're always taking in carbon dioxide and exhaling it. And so that helps to balance the levels of carbonate and bicarbonate as well. So the equation for the buffer system starts with water and carbon dioxide. Those together yield, that's what the arrow means, carbonate. And carbonate can yield bicarbonate ions and a hydrogen ion. These reactions are reversible, so the bicarbonate and hydrogen can create carbonate, and the carbonate can create carbon dioxide and H2O. So it can move backwards or forwards. We'll keep the equation up at the top, and I'll show you a system in your blood. Imagine this is the blood, and we're just looking at the carbonate, bicarbonate, and hydrogen ions. If you were to increase the number of hydrogen ions, say from a very acidic meal or acidic food, then some of those hydrogen ions could combine with the bicarbonate ions, creating carbonate. This shifts the direction of the equilibrium in favor of carbonic acid, as seen here. So the the reaction is now producing more carbonic acid than it is bicarbonate. Now these are reversible, so things are always shifting back and forth, but we're now in the direction of carbonic acid. And that can be balanced out because you can always convert carbonic acid to CO2 and exhale the excess CO2. And that would bring the pH of the system back closer to 7.4 or 7.5. Conversely, if you had a very low level of hydrogen ions, meaning your pH was above 7.4, a larger number, then the carbonic acid could release some hydrogen ions and become a bicarbonate ion, thus reestablishing a balance. And this is how buffers work. They maintain a pH within a certain range by releasing hydrogen ions or absorbing hydrogen ions accordingly.